Hi everyone, Nevada Nail Person. So today I thought I would do a haul as much as I could um, without getting too far in depth because actually now that I'm looking I have a lot of stuff here. So first off, ColourPop had that 20% off sale so actually I was able to get a few things. So without swatching everything I got, um, it would take a whole video in itself. Um, I got some of the satin mattes and um, the ultra matte lipsticks. So I got a total of five of those. I think two are satin and three are matte. I got a bunch of lip pencils, three lip pencils and three um, lippy sticks as well. And what I'm really excited for is the brow pencil. So I'm really looking forward to trying this guy out because the little spoolie looks nice and thin, um, which is great. And I think I did swatch this already. And yep, it's a great shade. What shade was this? Um, it's very hard to see on this color pop package. Um, it is in bear taupe, or deep taupe, dope, dope taupe. I should know it was a silly name. So really excited to try this. I mean, it was a huge haul, three eyeshadows as well, even though I'm not a fan, but this time I made sure to just get pearlized. Um, so there was just three eyeshadows, like lid shades, so nothing much there. And then from the drugstore, this, I saw this in, in Tati's video and, and uh, that Jeffree Star. So I've been want I've seen this in the drugstore, but they had 40% off in CVS. So I couldn't resist. This is the um, all-in-one custom nude palette for face and eyes in natural nude. And um, it's basically a highlighter. Um, you could use it as eyeshadow, anything you want. And it is, it's pretty awesome, I must say. I don't know how this would elude me for so long, but it did. So, um, so there's the bronzier shades and then the pinker shades. So you could do a mixture of like, um, camera's not picking it up good. But you could just rub a brush in it and do an all-over effect, do the highlighter uh, piece um, with these two strips. It actually comes with little instructions in the back because it comes with this little brush and mirror and it tells you how to use it. So it's a nice little throw it in your purse type thing as well. So I'm really happy I got this little palette. Um, I also got from, and that's why I'm just going to name this haul because it's internet, it's all over the place. So from Beautylish, I got this RCMA um, no color powder that everyone is talking about. And yes, I don't want to be the one to fall for all this YouTube hype, hype but someone said that this product is non-drying on the face, and I do find that the Laura Mercier is a little bit more drying if you're dusting your, your face, setting your makeup, like that, um, I use um, Makeup Forever HD Foundation Stick, and you need to set that, and um, if you use that Laura Mercier, I can get dry. So someone said it that this is non-drying, so... Um, I decided to go for it, and there's only two ingredients in here, talc and silica. So, um, I thought talc was bad for you. So, I don't know, I'll give it a whirl. Um, so that was one of the products that I got from Beautylish, along with this toner. This is the Indie Lee Co CoQ10 Toner. And I was first introduced to this to one of those Beautylish bags that come out around the holiday time. It's um, like $75 and you get like six or seven high-end products. And not this Christmas, um, 
because I wasn't working, but the Christmas before, I got this in my Beautylish bag, and at first I wasn't so excited, but when I used it and then was out of it, I really liked it and missed it, so I decided to go for it. So this was my Beautylish order. So it's a great toner. I really highly recommend it. This was something I think Bare Minerals was having a sale. This is the Neutral Attraction Palette. And let's see if I can open it without breaking my nails. So it's a nice, everyday, everything in here type of palette. It has a nice big mirror. And then you have your eyeshadows, two blushes, uh, bronzer, and, and an illuminator. So this is pretty nice, I must say. Um, I was playing around with it yesterday, um, just trying some swatches, and it's it's not horrible. I mean, it could be a little bit more pigmented, some of the shades. See how I like that one's so much more pigmented than this one? So this one's just like a, this would probably be a transition color. Um, let's try, what is this one? This yellowy type one. So it's a mixture of, so that would be like a transition shade too. It's a very light shade right there. Um, let's try the highlighter. That's always a good test. Oops, I can't see. So I put it right there. So that's not so great. I'm on the fence about some um, Bare Minerals products. This would be a very light, everyday type of shimmer, so you could barely see it. And let's look at the bronzer that comes with, um, we'll go up to there. So there's the bronzer. So overall, I mean, I enjoy having palettes like this because it has a little bit of everything. So it's real easy in the morning. So you have everything right there for you other than some eyeliner and mascara. So um, I'll report back, of course, in a makeup basket in the future and let you know my thoughts and how it went. So happy I got that. Then I got from MAC. They had the Vibe Tribe collection with this. Look at this. Isn't this gorgeous? So I got three things. I got the lipstick in um, what is the crazy shade on this one? Pure Vanity, which is it's a luster finish. So it's just a coral. So it's a very Joanne color, everyday color. So very happy to have that. And look, isn't that gorgeous? It's just appealing to the eye. And I guess that makes me fall for it. I don't know. And then I got a, um, I think this is the Glean Tones uh, Powder. So this product is interesting. And I'll, I'll report back on this as well. It's a little bit of everything. So you can use this as a, blush, a bronzer, a highlighter. So let's kind of swatch this out. So let's try this shade. So this peachier shade. So yeah, that's kind of nice. And this I guess would be like a bronzer. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And here's a pinkier shade there. So I guess that would be a highlight too, as well as this guy. Yeah. So I think overall this would be a nice product to have. I mean, it's just gorgeous, that whole Southwest look. So very happy I got that. And then <clears throat> finally I did get a bronzer from this collection, and this was an online only exclusive so this way I know I'm not duplicating because I have a few MAC products and this one is called um, Firebrush yeah Firebrush so beautiful and this is a, a, a bronzer but it does have some shimmer in it so you could kind of see right there so we'll swatch that 
So it's definitely warmer tone bronzer. Uh, right there. So very happy to have this and just appealing to look at. So I also picked up um, one thing I had to have is, you know, I have this obsession with highlights. So, um, Sleek, I try to go on the website and order these. But for some reason, whenever I'm on the Sleek website, it tells me that these items cannot be shipped to the United States. I hear other people on YouTube saying how they're getting this product and they're ordering it from the UK and blah, blah. But for some reason, they won't ship it to me. So... I actually got this on eBay through a person a person who sells sleek products through eBay. So I got the Solstice palette, which is the one everyone is gaga over, and this one Precious Metals. So the Solstice palette, which is absolutely gorgeous and I'm glad um, I got it. It was it was really inexpensive. Um, let me try to get there. So you can see the colors are very interesting. There's like a rose gold, a pinkier, uh, golder shade, and then th this is a cream shade. So let's try that. I mean, that's a highlight. And then this pinker one, let's just try that one. I mean, this that highlight's pretty intense. And then they have a golder one that's a powder as well. So right there. So you can see it's an awesome highlighter. If you want that ba-bam, see it from Mars type of highlighter, this palette will give it to you. And it'll give it to you for about, I think it was $12 or $13. And then its counterpart was the um, Precious Metals. This one was a little bit deeper than I thought it would be. Um, it's still in this nice, beautiful case. The other one was gold. This one's like a gunmetal. And this one has um, three cream shades versus one powder shade, where it's the opposite in the other palette. So the cream shades are gorgeous. Um, we'll try this one, which is like a rosier gold. See? That? Look at that. Gorgeous. But the highlight in this palette is a little bit dark for me. So this is the powder highlight in this one. So this one's a little bit dark, but I would definitely use that for an eyeshadow. So Precious Metals, three creams, one, two, three, and then the powder. Let's try another cream. Let's try this white. It's a, pearl, a white pearl type. Um, bam. So right there. So these sleek palettes, if you want a highlighter, pack some punch. It's just whether or not you prefer creams or, or powders. So the Sol Solstice only has one cream and the rest of powder, where the Precious Metals is three cream and one powder. But they're awesome, all of them. And then while I was at it, um, I also picked up an eyeshadow palette from Sleek in the same order, same person on eBay. And if you've never tried a Sleek eyeshadow palette, you should because they're great, great quality, great price. Um, again, it's like $12, 10 to $12, I don't remember exactly. This palette is called All Night Long, so it's basically a neutrals type of palette. Um, it's a, a combination of some really glittery, um, maybe a matte or two, more likely a satin. Let's try it. Yeah, see that one's definitely a matte. This one right here is here's definitely a matte. Let's try it. Let's try this one, which is like a fireball type shade. Bam. So look at that pigmentation. We'll try one more. Let's try this, this like gold, gold metal, bronzy, gold, old gold metal one. Look at that. 
great pigmentation. So it's a nice little palette, and if you're someone like me who has tons and tons of palettes, it's just that. It's sleek. It's, it doesn't take up too much room. It has great quality. There's hit and misses with them, but um, overall I've been very happy, other than the fact that they're hard for me to get. And I want to say I have quite a few of these. I just don't rotate them out or not. So I have to try this one. So look for this in an upcoming makeup basket. And then finally, I picked up, I know people feel differently about these, but these are the Violet Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palettes, and I got both the Holy Grail and the Drenched Metal Palette. So for the Holy Grail, originally I wanted that, that Morphe 350 that everyone has, that's those gorgeous colors. But that palette's huge, so to me this is similar, but um, not as big. So we have some interesting shades here. I mean, it's basically a neutrals palette. If you look at it like this, it's pretty neutral. But then you add the ba bam or the pinky shades and really can mix it up. So let's swatch... Um, so we do have a diff, um, some mattes and what appears to be maybe some satin type shades and then some flat out glittery shades. So let's try this on fleek. I want to see how that looks. Whoa. Okay. So that's pretty good. And then, you know, these cranberry shades, this one's called Wine and Dine, is pretty much everywhere now. So this is a matte. And we'll try that. And oh, there it is. So overall this palette is pretty pigmented. I haven't tried it yet so we'll discuss it in an upcoming makeup basket. And then the drenched metal which I had heard from someone the formula was similar to um, Kat Von D's little eyeshadow palettes, um, the little individual eyeshadows. I heard one person say that they were like that, and then I heard from, I was watching, I think her name or her channel is Makeup Junkie 101. She just did a review of these two palettes, and she basically said it's the same formula that's in Morphe. So I do have a Morphe palette, but I, again, because it's so big, I don't pull it out. This is the Drenched Metals palette. So again, this one is um, very metallic. It does not appear to have any um, matte shades. This looks like a matte shade. Um, so I want to say overall, we have some shimmery shades, and that's about it. So let's try this Minx. Okay, pretty good. Um, let's see, I'm so fancy. Now this is a shadow I would never wear probably. I'm so fancy, because I'm so not fancy. And it's just that bright blue. So maybe under, you know, as a liner. But overall, I like some of the shades in this palette. But I would say this palette reminds me of that Makeup Forever palette that's on sale, Makeup Forever 2, because it has similar shades. It's kind of like all over the place. So that is everything in this haul. Look for upcoming um, Makeup Basket videos, and I'll let you know my thoughts about some of these products once I go through them. So that's it. If you have any questions, let me know, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.